Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be doing a story time about how my ex-best friend wasn't really my best friend at all, and she wasn't really a friend at all, and how she's just a toxic friend and just a toxic person in general in my life, so yeah. Um, disclaimer, I know what you're thinking, oh, my hair looks so bad, but like, I'm, I'm hopefully gonna get my hair done soon, so I apologize for my hair looking really bad, and it's a really, really hot day outside right now, it's like 102 degrees, so sorry if I look really rough. And another disclaimer, I know what you're gonna think, oh, why would you let someone treat you like that? What are you, a doormat? What are you, a jellyfish? Yes, I was a doormat. Yes, I was a jellyfish. I've learned from my mistakes, and now I don't let anyone treat me like a, door a doormat or a jellyfish. I'm not a jellyfish anymore. Yes, I was a doormat, but I learned from my mistakes. I'm gr I've grown as a person, and that's all I have to say. So yeah, let's get into this. So... Me and my best friend, we met, I think, in fourth grade or fifth grade. I don't remember, um, but it was either fourth or fifth grade. We met in elementary school because she lived on the same street as me. And the funny thing is that she was, like, a really, really nice person. Let me describe her um, appearance first. She was, like, she had, like, really, really dark brown hair, really, 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 really pale, like, white skin, with like maybe, I don't know if she had freckles or not because it's been such a long time since I've seen her. I don't really know if she had freckles or not. And she had like these really cold blue eyes and she was like obese. She was like a nice person. We hang out, we did our nails together, we, we ate lunch together in elementary school and all that. And I really thought she was my best friend. But then when came middle school, she like changed into a whole different person. Like she was trying to fit in with other girls and stuff so when we were eating at the um at the lunch table during lunch she'd like tell me to go sit in another like another um another table because she wanted her friends which i don't even think they were her actual friends but whatever you know she'd tell me to get up and move and go to a different table to eat lunch but well she well she made room for her other friends her other so-called friends and that was like the first sign that I knew that, you know, that she wasn't a good friend, but it took me a long time to realize this. Okay, so she had a friend who's now my best friend and that, and that best friend is no longer friends with her. She and her hanged out like a lot and stuff, but I feel like she was using me and my best friend that I have now because like she would use me for like emotional, like... I guess support and stuff, but she'd use my friend for money and other things. I don't know how to explain it. Like, she just used people, basically. Just so that she she just took advantage of people. I don't think she really has any friends, honestly. And, um, so after middle school, like, me and her ex-best friend, who's now my best friend, I hanged out with my best friend now, not my ex-best friend, and I guess she... I don't know, was, je was jealous of me, or I don't know what the problem was, because I never talked shit about her at all, I never did anything to her, and she blocked me on all her social media, but she was talking to me in real life. Like, who the hell blocks people on social media, and then in real life talks to them? Like, you're just a fake bitch. Like, I don't get it. She was just a hater. Like, I didn't do anything to her. Like, I don't know who treats their friends so badly when that friend has been there for you. Imagine being that friend that who's always there for your friend, like a true best friend should be. Like, you're always there. You defend your friend and stuff. But then that person turns out to not want to be your friend at all or not really care about you and it's just wanting to use you. Like, I know you're thinking, oh, you're so stupid. Why would you let someone treat you like that? Well, the thing is, I didn't have any other friends. No matter, like, how hard I tried to be people's friends, they just, like, hated on me. Like, I was really severely bullied in middle school. People wanted to beat me up. People were just hating so bad, and I don't even know why. Like, I didn't do any of them. I could just stand there, and someone would be just hating at me, threatening to beat my ass. Like, it was just such a hard time for me, and it just... It just, it just sucks when you just try to be, like, a good friend to someone, and they just fuck you over for, like, no reason, like just sucks and this is how I actually learned to stand up for myself and not take shit from anyone. I honestly think she was a true life hater, like a real life hater because like 
she blocked me on all her social media, but yet she was stalking me on my social media. Like, she would follow everything I did and, like, everything. It was, like, ridiculous. And it was funny because one day, like, in ceramics class, she put her phone on the table next to this guy. And the guy told her not to put it there because it could fall on the ground. And she... I guess didn't listen and the phone was like on the edge of the table and I guess she elbowed it and it hit the ground and it broke and then she started having like a meltdown like crying and her face is turning all red and stuff and honestly that's like karma I mean you want to treat people like shit you want to do all this to people who care about you like I cared about you and you just took advantage of me like you you're, you deserve to break your phone I'm glad your phone broke. So yeah, that is basically my story. And I graduated high school in 2016, 2016. And I just thought it would be just a good story time video to make. You know, that happened, something that really happened in my life. And I want to start doing story time videos. I have a lot of crazy stuff that happened in my life. And I just think that it would just be, you know, awesome doing more story time videos. So I plan on coming out with more story time videos in the future. I have a lot to tell and I plan on telling them in more story times. So yeah.